17 hours and 6%. Today's project will require an explanation, so here we go. I had this teacher from first throughout sixth grade that also happened to be an artist, a great painter, and we kind of reconnected after all these years. Uh, and I do have a couple of her paintings. Wow, uh, just, just breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. And it made only sense that she would find this interesting. This is a lion that I have uh, 3D printed it's a lithophane, works by varying the thickness in the material. Very cool. So I snapped a photo of this one because this one I really like. And I made a huge version of a lithophane of that painting. And yeah, this is how it turned out. That is big. Uh, something pretty interesting, if you do a 180, just still see the image. Here is the deal with lithophanes. They are hard to slice up. You can't expect to split this into four parts and expect the four parts to merge so well into each other that it wouldn't create visible lines. The only monstrosity of a 3D printer that could pull something like this off is the Creality CR10 S5, which you hopefully haven't heard because I have done some, uh, I've done a lot of modifications to it. And I think I made that video public on my Patreon page. So you should be able to go and watch it to see what modifications I did. So let's take a look at the 100 hour print time lapse that took to make this. We are at 92%, 94 hours. That's not completely correct. It's not gonna be another 8%. It's done within like one, two hours. And it looks really good. I did decide to uh, support it with uh, some uh, sticks and hot glue. You know, I will be able to take them off after, but it's just to make sure that this doesn't rock back and forth too much. But what I did found was the extruder is actually doing it right now. It's, it's jumping up and down, which is most likely the cause of, of ripples within the lithophane. And, and that's not very nice because that's gonna show up once we uh, have this light up. And uh, that's caused by the CR10500 being too tall. It's, it, the frame is not sturdy enough, so this starts to shake. So my recommendation for anyone who has this printer and is planning of printing 500 millimeter tall objects, which I'm hoping you are since you got this printer, make sure you have some kind of brackets going from the very top to uh, the frame on the bottom here to connect it. So, because that is gonna result in ripples and imperfections in your prints and uh, nobody wants that. I had to put out these supports, I've never done this before, uh, but I had to put out these supports as the print progressed and got increasingly flimsy on top. I, I took a few sticks with hot glue in the ends that I was going to be able to remove later. I just find it a bit funny that I actually had to do it. So how do you go from a picture to a SDL that you can print on your 3D printer? I already covered this in my Lift Fame video with Lionhead, you can check it out over here. Well, you have this website where you import your photo, you, you change the size and thickness and, and thinness layer and stuff like that. This one is called Outer Curve, but you can also do cylinder and all kind of different shapes. And in your 3D printer software, the settings to really look for is 100% infill, 0.2 millimeter layer height works great, and go a bit slower than you might normally used to. Well, the thing with lithophanes is that they require a light source greater coming from behind than directly at it. So turning these lights off actually makes the picture look way better. 
So I solved this problem by designing a frame for it. I took some measurements, the curvature, added some horizontal brackets, and so the frame was printed and uh, it looks incredible. So let's attach some lights and uh, get this lit. There is a total of nine LED strips, five of which being warm white and four being cool white. They are all connected to this red wire to the positive pads on this side and the negative pads on this side. And they all connect to this jack adapter down here that gets plugged into this 12 volt, 12 volt 5 amp adapter. Something interesting I came across was that the word lithophane, lithos meaning stone or rock, and fane, lithophane, fane meaning cause to appear. From this the word lithophane derives a meaning of, of light in stone. I must have hit the dimensions pretty straight on because, well, it's staying in the frame. Almost. So I'm planning to hang this on the wall, but just for demonstration, I have the connector up here right now. So it's it's really upside down. Obviously, the connector should be like this. But just for demonstration, I'm gonna put it like this and plug the power in. So here we go. Please don't blow up. Uh, my first reaction to this was just priceless. So fun. Uh, genuinely happy about these results. You may want a different picture in here. Just print a new one and uh, swap these out. You just gotta love the details. Um, I want to show you one more picture I made. Uh, I made one of Stephen Hawking that I think turned out just fantastic. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching me make massive lithophanes. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to drop a like and uh, I'll see you again very soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.